So let's see if you can figure out what's wrong with this picture. This week, by the way, Ainsley welcomes you into her home for Ainsley's Bible study. And she and her guests share defining personal moments in their lives that led them to find their faith in God. You don't want to miss it. Check it out. Now, before you say, well, what's wrong with that? What if, instead of it being a Bible study, what if it was a Quran study? Let's say it was CNN, and they were doing a Quran study. How would you feel about it then? People ask me, how do you know that there's a God? And I know it because... Because anecdotal evidence. Because you feel he's real. Of stories like this. Let's all have a drink for Jesus. The little steps along the way kind of sew each other together to become something big. God will never fail you. Jesus would still die for you. The whole human sacrifice thing has always been such a strange concept to me. It never made any sense as a kid. It doesn't make any sense anymore. This person died for your sins. Makes no sense. I just stubbed my toe for your mortgage. If you have Christ, all the other stuff is overflow. We're just trying to become better Christians. By supporting Fox News and preaching against safety nets, except for those that come from churches. God is good. God is, God is so good. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. No, but seriously, when I'm looking online, trying to find any sort of message from Republicans that counters the whole intersectionality thing that's coming so often from the left, all I ever see is religion. They never say, you know, believe in yourself. No, no, believe in God, and God will guide you. Give it up to God. And it's just really annoying. All over the place. Let's replace intersectionality with religion. I just wish it didn't have to be this thing where people feel they have to choose one or the other. Why can't we just believe in ourselves, you know?